guys welcome to Nicole's productions and in this video basically I'll be reviewing a ROM for the LG Nexus 4 and the ROM in today's review is going to be the Synergen Mods uh, CM10 ROM and uh, as you know I've been reviewing Synergen Mods uh, ROMs for all my devices so uh, here it is for the Nexus 4 um, as of today the ROM was only present in the nightly nightly builds there is no stable version of the ROM yet so I have gone ahead and flashed the latest nightly builds uh, and yeah basically I'll be reviewing it for you uh, so to start off with I'll be basically doing a boot up test and showing you how fast the device boots up with this ROM and for timing purposes I'm using my iPad as always Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and start it just as I hit the start button There you go. I felt the vibration so it means it started and I'll stop it as soon as the home screen boots up in the meantime you can notice the cool uh, Synergen mod uh, Boot animation. So yeah, that's uh, what it comes with stock. You can obviously go ahead and flash your own so uh, it has finished booting up and it's booted up in around 16.4 seconds which is a pretty fast boot up uh, so yeah that was a quick boot up test let's move on let's move on to the interface now so uh, once you first flash this you'll obviously be greeted with uh, the stock experience because Synergy Mod is basically the stock version of Android uh, now the stock ROM on this is obviously being an X device is uh, very similar to the Synergen mod so you won't notice any big difference between the interface you get your standard app drawer your standard home screens you you greet it with five home screens so it's very similar to what you get on the stock ROM since both are stock versions of Android you get your standard app drawer like I said you get your standard set of widgets um, and yeah everything looks pretty much similar to what you get on the stock you get your standard notification um, you get your settings toggle settings here which is also standard with how it is out of the box you can quickly go into your settings by doing that so yeah uh, the interface wise the Synergen mod roms is pretty similar to what you get uh, out of the box uh, with this device um, now uh, moving on to the performance the performance on this, uh, is I think uh, better than what you get out of the box uh, as you know Synergen mods uh, roms are all really uh, tweaked uh, ROMs tweaked for performance so they basically uh, give you great performance uh, and to be honest uh, this one seems to be a pretty stable build as well I haven't noticed any crashes or bugs as of yet uh, so yeah but time will tell if there are any bugs or crashes um, but as of yet it's a pretty stable build you can definitely use it as a daily driver I would say um, and to give you an idea of the performance, I'll run Quadrant Standard quickly. Uh, one thing to note is that the benchmarks on the highest on this ROM, uh, on this device, uh, I don't know why that is, uh, but this is running a quad core uh, Snapdragon S4 Pro CPU, which is probably the fastest CPU out there uh, on any Android phone as of now. Um, it's running an Adreno 320 GPU, again, one of the fastest GPUs. Uh, out there for Android phones obviously um, so I don't know why the benchmarks are low but it's probably due to some thermal throttling or maybe due to the lack of optimization for Cortex A15 uh, CPUs uh, but hopefully in the future we might see an increase uh, in uh, benchmarks with a future update or something uh, so we're almost done with the benchmark here let's go ahead and see our results and a device scores a good 4965 um, and this usually uh, my results usually range from around uh, 4200 to 4500 uh, I've got an unexceptionally high score here um, I don't know why but uh, yeah this is the kind of performance to expect it's it's no doubt slouch it's it's no slouch I mean everyday performance is blazing fast you hardly notice any slowdowns or lag um, in the benchmarks they're usually on the highest but benchmarks are obviously one side of the coin and everyday performance is a totally different thing so yeah um, that is for the performance part uh, and like I said there it's not a slow device it's, I have 
still to notice any lag or slowdown here even with uh, highly intensive things such as uh, live wallpapers running I, I haven't personally noticed any lag or slowdowns uh, using this ROM um, now uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you the settings uh, drawer here uh, you greet it with your standard settings firstly which is your connectivity settings um, it allows you your standard settings it allows you to turn on and off NFC it allows you to choose your mobile network version and run 2G to save battery and stuff like that um, there's nothing too special in the wireless settings obviously however uh, uh, you notice something different when you come down here which is the interface which is not present in the uh, stock ROM uh, so it allows you to change your interface obviously like uh, the settings say uh, it allows you to change your home screens like the number of home screens uh, whether you want your search percentage persistent search bar uh, resizable widgets and stuff like that scrollable wallpapers effects and stuff so it allows you to tweak your interface a bit it also allows you to tweak your lock screen and uh, show you various options and things such as the weather the clock and stuff on your lock screen um, I th then the next thing is the themes uh, are the box you get your stock theme but you can go ahead and download a few other themes for this and flash them and use them obviously uh, now lastly you have your system settings uh, which allows you to change things such as your status bar you like so you can change basically your things such as your um, date and time uh, how it looks here you can show like you can change if you want to show am or pm like here uh, so now I have my AM and PM there and it allows, similarly allows you to change your uh, uh, battery indicator, your signal status and stuff like that. Um, then you have your notification drawer settings and you can tweak those as well. Uh, notification LED you can enable and disable it obviously and it has some built in functions for that also. Uh, and for those of you who didn't know it has a notification LED here this phone so uh, yeah you can tweak that as well uh, other things is uh, pretty much the same uh, however one thing different is uh, the, the how to enable your developer options and performance settings out of the box when you flash this ROM not out of the box but once you first flash this ROM you, aren't, uh, you don't have any performance settings or developer settings so to basically enable you that you have to go into about phone and you can also see I'm running Synergy Mod 10.1 here, uh, so yeah. Uh, but to enable those settings, you basically have to go ahead into About Phone and hit the build number a few times. So once I keep hitting it, it gives you uh, details of how many times you need to hit it. So it, it told me I need to hit it two more times. So once I hit it once more, now it will tell me it's one more step away to enabling it. So once uh, you do that, uh, you are now a developer. It says that, and now you should be able to access your developer options and your performance options um, so going into performance options you can obviously go ahead and tweak your CPU settings your IO uh, scheduler your memory management and stuff like that you can go ahead and underclock your CPU although there is no overclock uh, built in this kernel uh, you probably will have to flash another kernel to overclock so your maximum frequency is locked to 15 12 megahertz um, you can go ahead and tweak your minimum to uh, minimum frequency and increase that or decrease that. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it on the options. Uh, and I'll give you an overview of the browser and the camera since uh, those are the few, some of the few apps which people use frequently. So the browser uh, used in the ROM is the stock. Uh, ICS browser I guess we saw this browser first with ICS so I call it the ICS browser you don't have Chrome by default so I'm launching this browser it will log in first and uh, about the performance on this browser I would say it's pretty much on par with uh, Google Chrome so I'll just load up a heavy website such as The Verge And we'll see how fast it loads it up. And this is not running off uh, uh, my mobile network. It's running off my Wi-Fi. So there you can see it's loaded up the mobile version. And the mobile version is very, very smooth. You can see battery smooth. So let's go ahead and load the full site. And see how it performs.
it's taking some time since it's a huge uh, page the verge is a huge uh, page uh, with some pretty graphically intense uh, graphics to it and there you can see uh, the performance is pretty good I mean it's still not fully loaded but you can go ahead and move around the page and there it's done you can see the scrolling is really really smooth I'll show you pinch to zoom as well and one thing to note uh, in general about this device is it, there's a slight delay between when you pinch and when it starts to pinch so if you can see that there there was a slight delay between when I started to pinch and when it actually started to zoom in but the zoom is pretty smooth there's no hiccups or lag or checkerboarding performance on this browser is great so it's definitely on par with the Chrome browser you can obviously go ahead and install the Chrome browser uh, uh, of your own uh, after that and it runs flash flawlessly as well um, now I'll show you the camera app so the camera app is uh, also standard of what you get out of the box so you get things such as your photosphere built into it so yeah and you get your standard uh, interface camera interface which comes with the Android 4.2 jelly bean uh, and allows you to toggle settings like how you would on the stock ROM um, and it takes photos pretty snappily as well pretty fast so there it supports touch to focus as well there you can see how fast it took that snap there you go uh, so yeah the camera interface is pretty standard on, on what you get out of the box nothing too different other than that, uh, it's a pretty good ROM, it's pretty fast, it's pretty stable. I really recommend it, you guys to go ahead and try it out. Um, I will also be uh, going ahead and making a review on the Para Android ROM on this device as well as the AOKP ROM on this device. So um, if you're looking forward to that, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll be doing that soon. So yeah, this was a quick uh, review of the Cyanogen Mod ROM, the CM10. ROM for the next four. Um, if you want me to include stuff in my ROMs that I'm currently not doing, you can go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll definitely go ahead and include that as well. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. This was ending call, bringing you a quick review of the Cyanogen Mod ROM on the Nexus 4. Thanks guys for watching. This end call. Peace out.